throwing it out, putting it in gear. Sydney Harbour today is blowing a gale and been looking around for a few different species but found these birds busted up over here on the side. Thought I'd throw a lure out, don't know what they are, could be salmon, could be tailor, maybe it's a key. Could be quite a little bit harder I think. But something at least.
coupé. fun for the board man I've been trying for some kingies this morning I haven't got any fresh squid the reports today were terrible in terms of the water conditions but I had a day where I can go out so got to take the opportunity and here I am and found some birds here inside the harbour give me something to do yeah, I don't know if you can see that it's flowing hard like north east it's gonna be a southerly later it's still it's actually cool it despite with that wind um i don't know if you can actually probably even hear me because that wind is pretty strong um but but having a go why not i've got the day off take the opportunity to have a bit of a fish um and see how we go play with these salmon for a little bit and then try again maybe for the kids even though I haven't got any fresh squid again we're on I thought I went for a little bit of a run Feisty fish.
of him. There you go, there's the lure. Secret lure. It's not really secret. Doing the damage. again and have another go and we're on again guys bite hard they're not even worried about the birds anymore just there's patches everywhere all through this little bay here tucked in i don't know if you can hear me because it is pretty windy <laughs> probably do it. It's a bit of a jump out the back here. They're not massive fish. I don't know Pretty much just throwing it out, putting it in gear. Going about four to five knots. A little bit of line out. Clear in the rod holder. Easiest fishing you'll ever do. And like that, you're on. Just gotta turn the boat though. It's getting a bit close to the, uh, to the rocks here. That took all of what? Two seconds. Right turn this boat around a little bit, try to maneuver everything on the go. Hope maybe there's something else with them. This guy's doing a little bit of an error. Good old Sydney Harbour. You trust the salmon or Taylor or something like that when the weather's pretty shit.
maybe not as quick as the last one, but we did move a fair bit while we were bringing that fish in from where I was catching them. So it's just got to move back up there. Again, not really looking for too much. Uh, I can see bait on the sounder every now and then. There we go, another one. Throw him out. Let some line out, four to five knots. So you gotta turn the boat around a little bit. Man fishing, I don't know if it's the beginning or the end. It's at the end. Um, but today I was sort of just going out. I shouldn't have probably went out because it's very windy, uh, there's a chance of a storm, there's rain, but I've got a day off, had to go. Uh, mate, it's better than sitting at home looking at the boat. So off I went this morning, got out pretty early, but couldn't really go anywhere. Um, that was sort of in that north northeasterly blowing. This morning it was blowing from the northeast. Now it's sort of blowing northwest. I don't know. It sounds like there's a southerly coming. We'll have a look at the weather. Uh, that cloud will hit here in about 10 minutes. Or so. um, all those dark clouds. So anyway, it was good to get out, have a look at what's happening inside the harbour. Um, Tried for some squid. It was very hard to, to squid. Squid don't like the wind anyway, as much as I know. Um, but tried for a little bit for squid, but the spots I tried the squid, it was too hard with the wind. Um, then went on the other side of the harbour. On my way back, I saw a flock of birds and saves sort of the, the day, the, the trip, if you, if you want to call it that, even though I don't mind just going out on my boat and having a boating day rather than catching and fishing. Um, but we got some salmon, a bit of fun there, uh, showed you hopefully how to, how to do that in the harbour. All I did was coming back towards um, Middle Harbour to try for some kingfish with some squid that I had caught um, in a previous trip. I saw the birds, hook left, went to the birds and uh, put out one of the deep diving lures and, and off they went. It's pretty easy to get them. Uh, when they're like that, normally um, they can be really tough to catch, especially when they're feeding on little white baits or little eyes or whatever you want to call them. Um, so it was good to be able to catch them so easy, just putting out the, a deep diver, a pretty big one actually, um, and, and and getting them. So a bit of fun, a bit of uh, a bit of action, um, especially with this wind. It's been howling all day. I think offshore it said it was 20 to 40 knots just coming around um, middle head there I've never seen it well I haven't seen it for a long time 
where I, I sort of felt like it was offshore rather than inside the harbour. But anyway, so heading back in um, and actually going to make a little segment here while it's um, quiet during the week and it is really windy so this could be interesting um, how I put the boat onto the trailer because uh, I hadn't done that in previous um, trips and I've done how to get it off but not actually putting it on so it's going to be a, a good one actually <laughs> because it is really really windy um, so putting it on the um, trailer on my own you can see how good my trailer is um, when it's set up properly getting the um, the boat on the trailer after a trip all right well anyway that's an episode um, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.